John B. Watson, known for establishing the Behavior School of Psychology, carried out one of the most influential psychology studies in the 1920s that would later on be something that would never be forgotten. Classical conditioning, first experimented by Ivan Pavlov, was used on a dog when an unconditional stimulus was used to produce an unconditional response, and a conditioned stimulus was used to produce a conditioned response. This was later on extended by Watson in his demonstration of the Little Albert experiment. In Watson's experiment, a little baby Albert was used to be conditioned. He was born to a woman who was a nurse in the Harriet Lane home of invalid children. Although raised in a hospital environment, Albert developed normally and was very stable. Ivan Pavlov was indeed able to condition a dog. Could Watson now do the same thing in humans? Now to the actual experiment itself. First off, Watson presented little Albert objects that he was not afraid of. Objects that Albert initially liked. These included fire, a monkey, a dog, a rabbit, and finally, a white rat. Albert in particular liked the white rat. From all these clips, notice Albert's positive reactions. Now comes the conditioning. To start off the conditioning, when Albert reached to touch the rat, a loud bar was struck whenever Albert reached for the rat. Here, Albert first off fell forward and was startled, but he did not cry yet. But he reached for it for a second time and heard it, and then he started to cry. Watson had indeed conditioned a fear response in little Albert. Albert was then shown a rabbit he immediately cried and got as far away as possible from it. Then a dog was also brought in. Albert did not cry right away. He was acting cautious, and it was only when the dog came right up to his head that he began to cry and tried to get away from it. After this, a seal fur coat was brought in. Albert turned away from it and was agitated. Then Watson used the Santa Claus mask, in which invoked an even more negative response by baby Albert. From the previous experience from the white rat, little Albert suddenly became afraid of familiar objects that had the same characteristics as the white rat. This phenomenon was known as generalization. Watson then wanted to test whether the reaction would carry over in a different setting. The previous tests were done in a small dark room, but now he was brought into a larger room. He was presented with the same objects but did not show strong symptoms of withdrawal until the objects were paired with a loud noise. Watson now wanted to see if fear could remain in Albert over a period of time, so Albert was brought home and returned in one month. When he returned, he was tested with the same objects and paired with the same loud noises. Albert indeed showed the same strong signs of withdrawal. Watson once again proved that he could condition fear into baby Albert. Watson concluded that phobias were most likely conditioned responses. The Little Albert study is extremely important in psychology and other disciplines. 
It has inspired other important researchers of the past and continues to impact the direction of the psychological investigation today. And blues. Opponent process theory tells you about vision Less complex than math and cellular division Herring said there were three pairs of color receptors Including red, green, yellow, blue, black and white colors Don't know if I could ever be without sight Cause it completes me And in time I know that we'll both see Sensation's all we need Cause you're the eye to my sight You're the color to my blindness you're the black to my white According to psychologists Cause you're the I for me, for me And I'm the I for you, for you You take the both of us, of us And we're the perfect two We're the perfect two We're the perfect two So much that I can do Yes, we're the perfect two that I'll never doubt you And you know that I'll think about you And you know I can't live without you